Well, it was a successful splashdown. NASA's mission control guided the uncrewed Orion capsule into the Pacific Ocean, about 350 miles south of San Diego. Meantime, a crowd took in the historic moment at Space Center Houston. 50 years to the day since humans last landed on the moon on Apollo 17. 500 feet. A history-making splashdown in the Pacific. Splashdown. This is what mission success looks like, folks. The Orion capsule back on Earth, and NASA celebrating the end of the nearly 26-day Artemis I mission. This is a great day, not only for America, but it's a great day for all of our international partners. The test flight, a huge success. Orion traveled 1.4 million miles around the moon, further than any human spaceship ever. We definitely pushed this vehicle far so that we can be now on to Artemis II. The nearly month-long journey provided unreal images of the Earth and moon, the last piece of the puzzle, nailing the landing. <laughs> At Space Center Houston, space aficionados celebrated the picture-perfect splashdown. It was really exciting to just see that thing splash down in the water. I feel flight. like I just witnessed history that I feel like we could put people on the Artemis now. Next up for NASA, diving deep into all the data collected and getting Orion back to Florida, where engineers will closely inspect the heat shield to see how it dealt with 5,000 degree Fahrenheit temps outside the capsule on re-entry. Those answers will be key to getting astronauts on board Artemis II, right now slated for 2024. This isn't just a one flight and we're done. We are on our path to getting that base on the moon, to getting the understanding we need to go on to Mars. Now the crew for Artemis II will be announced early next year. Meantime, the Orion capsule will be driven across the country from California back to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.